Good morning, Channing and Tim. So, of course, a very exciting day. You can see the huge sign behind me. Hamilton is officially here. You can say May 3rd there. That is today. That is the opening day. And I've been keeping an eye on the tickets. So take a look. This is the Best of Broadway website where you can see the tickets tonight. There are still 19 seats available tomorrow for the day after. Just one left. Then there's some sold out shows after that. So we're definitely getting some excitement around Hamilton here. So the first interstate center of the arts has been waiting for this show. It was supposed to be here last May and April or April and May, but with COVID, of course, they postponed those shows. So now it's finally here. Here's what you need to know, though. Tickets are anywhere between 39 and 284 dollars. There are plenty of seats available for those later shows, but some of the shows that are coming up here quickly are running out. So shows are running May 3rd to May 22nd, and there's also going to be a weekly $10 ticket lottery on the Hamilton app. You can actually go ahead and join every single week you can uh, put your name in for each show to get one of or one of two ticket lotteries for each show. So just this past weekend, the first interstate center had to cancel Burt Kreischer's show for mechanical issues. We did ask if this will affect Hamilton at all, and they said it will not. The issue is they can't move the level of the orchestra pit right now, so the orchestra might just have to climb a few extra steps to get to their posts, but that's really it. And of course, this is a huge show for the Spokane area, and it will be bringing a big economic boost as well, considering it has shows for several weeks right here in Spokane. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez. Crime 2 News.